good morning everybody. Today we're off to a nice little short trip to Kaima from Wollongong. Very nice day today, 27 degrees. <coughs> Quite um, warm actually. Can't wait for summer when it starts to get really hot. Here we are in Harbour Street, Wollongong there, just near the Wollongong Harbour. Heading, about to head south. I thought today we'd go out along the, um, through Windang, Warrawong, Warilla, all the suburbs that start with W to get to Goma. Just make it a little different from the normal sort of freeway route. It's pretty boring really. <laughs> Fast but boring. This way we get to see a little bit of civilization, lots of roads and probably some bad driving. All the usual things you expect. All these buildings are relatively new acquisitions for Wollongong, gone up in the last year or so. Mostly apartment blocks, shops below, the usual sort of formula. I don't know how well they're filling them, but uh, it's a lot of extra people that we can accommodate here now, which I don't know whether it's all that good or bad. I suppose it'll be a little bit more busy than normal today with the um, Christmas not that far away, 10 days or so. Actually, 8 days, I think. So I suppose we'll have a little bit more traffic shoppers and people trying to get that those, those last minute gifts. As always we'll be sticking to the speed limit today and because around the Christmas or any holiday break really the uh, police get very very skittish and they're usually out in force out looking for speedsters and other irresponsible type people. So it's best to obey the rules, stick to the speed limits and stay alive. I've got the main outside visor up too on the helmet so it's probably a bit noisy and windy on the recording but um, it's just so hot and dry I just need to get a bit more air. Maybe when we get some more speed up I'll uh, close the visor. Anyway, it's good to see what sort of effect it has when the visor's up or down. I know you get a lot more sort of windy noise I guess inside with the visor up. But it's certainly more comfortable with it up on a day like this. a car that's well looked after. What year is that thing? About a 1970 or something? At the moment we're right in the middle of the Port Kembla Steelworks or what's left of it. There's still a fair bit of action happening along here but um, certainly not as bustling as it used to be with the open hearth steel making furnaces and used to be the, I guess the industrial hub of Australia really. But um, yes, in the past 20 years or so, it's cut right down on how much steel it outputs. Too many cheap imports from China, making it all um, not worthwhile here. But there's still a fair bit of industry here. There's still plenty of smog and evil smelling stuff. I guess sulphur and <laughs> it smells like sulphur. That's what I like to see. The Aussie flag flying high. Looks like just a private residence. Good on ya. So this is Warrawong. One of the first of the three W's. Shopping centre. Residential. And good old Lake Illawarra out over there to the right. Can't see it through the trees but it's there. So now we're heading into Windang, the second, or if you count Wollongong, I suppose it's the third W. Windang, nice little seaside holiday resort. Quite a lot of people live around here too. And it's, of course, got the main lake entrance and a bridge over that entrance coming up shortly. So they've got a really top uh, place to live around here. Been so close to the lake, where it's at its freshest, I suppose. That's why you've got bait shops, fishing tackle shops, camping shops, all sorts of things. Windang Bowling Club just over to the right, also right on the edge of the lake. 
some sort of fairground on at the moment. So here we have it, the main lake entrance right at Windang Bridge, this is called Windang Bridge, beautiful looking water today, very nice. Beautiful parkland over there, lots to do for the kids. And here we have Warilla. Third or fourth of the W's, Warilla Township. I saw an American policeman speaking not recently on a YouTube video speaking to a motorcyclist he'd um, just pulled over just to check over that motorcyclist hadn't done anything wrong actually he was just having a bit of a chat and he said um, I, in fact I think the motorcycle was going about five, km, five miles an hour over there faster than the speed limit and so the policeman said to him that's no problem with me. I don't have a problem with that he said all um, motorbike riders should try and stay a little bit ahead of the traffic just uh, one or two three miles per hour over the rest of the traffic stay ahead of them and um, he said that's the safest way to ride so I've given that a lot of thought and um, I think that policeman was right you try and stay um, a bit ahead of the main bunch of traffic you've got nice clear road you've got plenty of uh, room ahead of you to see things happening you, you've got an eye you've got your eye on them anyway in your rear vision mirror you know where they are and uh, it's much safer if you need to change lanes or do emergency stopping, all that sort of thing. It's um, I thought the policeman had it damn right correct. Just, just a little bit ahead of the bunt, main bunch of traffic. And I think if they pull you over and they they say, listen, you were doing like in Australia anyway, you're doing um, six, seven kilometres over over the speed limit. I reckon if you explain that to them, they'll probably see your point of view. On the other hand, they might not. The guy back there thought he was going to um, disprove my theory and try and get ahead of me at the take off from the lights, but You've got no hope. A motor motorcycle will always win. The other good thing about staying ahead of the traffic is when you come to a an on ramp like this, you can get up a good speed, ready to merge. Just a little bit. You can see where your competing car is just there. Make sure you're a little bit ahead, and you merge very safely. If you've got cars just ahead of you with hesitating type drivers. If you don't know how to merge properly, they'll, they'll slow down and let other cars, but once they've slowed down of course, the cars already on the freeway are going way too fast and you're all stuck there, you can't join up or you have to do it in a dangerous fashion. Another good example of staying a bit ahead of the traffic. Let the cruise control take over. Keep us at a nice even 100 kilometres an hour all the way up this hill. Pretty intelligent. You get down the other side, start going downhill, it eases back. It's almost human. Always thought it was a gimmick on motorcycles, but once you've had cruise control on a motorcycle, you never want to go back. So we're coming into Kiama now. Kiama is a beautiful little seaside town. Reasonable sort of population, I, I don't know, I guess it's got about 30,000 residents maybe. It's got a high school and that. And it's fam most famous of course for its lighthouse and its blowhole. So this is Kaima Ka Ka proper coming into the town centre. Pretty little place. Lots of, lots of nice little craft shops just on their left here. Pretty hard to park the bike there though because it's the wrong angle. That's one thing with Kaima, very difficult to park in. There's a couple of dozen craft shops and cafes and things along there. It's all nice. You have a community centre, beautiful park here in the middle of town. 
through there, nice shady park. They even have some motorbike parking. But we'll go down around the lighthouse first and have a look at the blowhole in the lighthouse. So you can park just here. If you've got a bike, there's a nice spot just right there. And there's some motorbike only spots just there too. Actually there's quite a bit of parking free today. Very unusual. Some beautiful buildings in Kaima, that hotel there, dating back to, I guess, can't see the date on it, but early 1900 something or even 1800, and then there's down here there's the post office, police stations, all, all restored or kept in the same condition they were when they built, I guess a century ago or more. Famous Kaima post office, look at the colour of that thing, two-tone pink from whatever the colour is, not very good with colours. Look at this guy, is he going to go? Nope, saw me. Saw me or heard me, I'm not sure. And up we go to the top, up to this headland, where the lighthouse is located and also the blowhole. The sea's not very big today, so there'll be nothing coming out of the blowhole, which is a shame. Pretty good spot. Beautiful, isn't it? Good 360 degree views all around. Very nice. This is one of the viewing platforms for the blowhole. I'll show you where the blowhole is anyway, but probably will look like a bit of a hole in the rock. <laughs> there it is. Very quiet today. A couple of little spits you can see on the rocks. Oop, hear that? Still a fantastic viewing spot though. It's looking up north, north towards Wollongong. Windang, where we've just been, come from. Nope, nothing. The sea's going the wrong way. Beautiful lighthouse. I'm into lighthouses. I like doing jigsaws with lighthouses, looking at photos of lighthouses. Some spectacular ones out stuck out in the middle of the North Sea around England and that. Where it's just a rock with a lighthouse on it. There's really no room to move, walk around it even. And huge seas crashing all around it. This one's a bit safer from all that. It's beautiful. Not a bad spot to stop down here. They've got these holiday cabins and I guess some caravans. I'm not sure if it's a caravan park or not, whether you can bring your own, but I think it's mostly just cabins. But look at the views they've got. There's a beautiful rock pool down there. Fantastic coloured sea. Nice breeze blowing today. Very nice. Kaima Harbour Cabins. Yeah, I guess it's just cabins. And this is Kaima Harbour. Fish market, the usual things, things you've got to have in a, in a, in a, a harbour of the sea, I guess, fish, fishing boats. Look at that, it's beautiful. 
and Kaima over there in the background, the main main drag of Kaima is behind that. It's beautiful. Some more bikers. Another view of the post office there. Beautiful building, isn't it? Ducker, you head low, low, Brigida. Main South Coast Railway line going across there. You've got to be careful if you've got a tall truck. Hmm. Motorcycles only. Look at that. Perfect. Well, that pretty well ends the video, I think. That's, you've seen enough. It's the main street up there. Nice palm trees. So, that's all for today, folks. Bye-bye.